What's up guys, I'm Josh, welcome to my channel. I edited Pops. This yeah. is my son, it's his birthday, he's 13 years old, so he could be on it. That lump that you probably see in the background, because my son is facing the camera that way, is my wife trying to hide. <laughs> so guys, first off, I'll go with what I got, because it's his birthday, so he gets to go last. last. Yay. I love that. So Amazon sent me this box. As you can see, it's open from both ends. Why? Because, hold on, Banner. I'll get you out of there. <laughs> no, it's not from Thor Ragnarok, but it is Bruce Banner. It is Victory Shwarma. Amazon exclusive. That's the uh, end credit scene from the first Avengers movie when they're eating Shwarma. So I don't know which, I still don't know what shawarma is, but it sounds good. We need a shawarma joint. <laughs> uh, you probably do. I just have to look it up. So that's what I got from Amazon. That was on Tuesday. This one scares me. This is from Box Lunch. You can hear it. At least it's not a bag, but I'm worried about the condition of the pops. I can hear them, uh moving around in there and this is a pre-order and it confused me why they took money out of my account and I realized oh that's why what? no shipping confirmation though just you know it showed up so I had to go from when they took money out of my account from a pre-order from a while ago to realize that's why they took it out of my account and if you're a kid don't use this at home I don't know what happened to my regular knife I'm using my what I use for my cheese I didn't Jeez. wash it. Because my bat knife is downstairs. That's where that one is. But I also have another knife that's up here that I use for open stuff. <laughs> okay. I feel a little bit better now. <laughs> oh, you got two. I'm guessing. Box lunch 25% off. Hey. 225% off. Thanks for box lunch. Um, even though they sent it in a bag they did put it in box sorters so I'll... come on guys bubble wrap at least bubble wrap because if you look inside this box there's one quarter where it's dented in and on top there's a crease here you know because USPS takes such good care the United Postal Service takes so much good care of my stuff can I can we like open it at the same time hmm so, I don't know what this is, but it better not be Kiki on Broom Pop <laughs> Glitter. I know what it is, but what it should be. There we go. Oh, the cocaine uh, glitter. It is the Diamond Edition Coca Cola can. Yes, I got two. One is for my parents. Um, Unfortunately, not for me. I have the regular Coke can. So I didn't know how that would look, the Diamond Edition. I kind of uh, actually uh, like it, especially at close. It really pops, no pun intended. Oh. Okay, yeah, there was. <laughs> when I say it like that, there's pun intended. There you go. So, uh, one, of these off to my, one of these off to my parents. Now I'm just waiting on uh, Coke can plushies and I'll have all the Coke stuff that I, uh, pre-ordered so if you guys don't like this line i like it i'm a big coke fan and i remember what i got you yeah i forgot again you forgot again <laughs> this is like uh, it's like fifth time forgetting what he got me oh uh, no i don't have to remember because you're here so happy uh, birthday <laughs> yay oh, it's like this is the oh, kid that uh films my other videos yes because he's 13 he can the, finally be in one. That you hear in the background. What? At least when he turned his box upside down, he was able to get his out of there. I couldn't with my banner one. I had a shake and still <gasps> come out. Oh, oh it's that's Clemson, right. the tiger. Oh, I like this one. Oh, it's so camera. sick. I was not expecting this at all. I was trying to guess a cute uh, couple other things. Couple. Other things, not this though. I uh, I guessed the bullseye from Funko Shop, which it wasn't. Uh, 
in a couple more Alien remixes, but I did not expect this at all. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thank Palm too. Thanks, Sleepy thank over there. Not. His dream is to uh, go to Clemson, so I figured that'd be a perfect uh, birthday gift. Unless they, uh, cause they can't make college player pops because then they'd have to pay them. So, they got on the mascot, and if they make a Trevor Lawrence pop, even though he might play for uh, Jacksonville or the Jets, we don't know yet. It's Jacksonville. Oh, they have the number one pick. Doesn't mean they have to draft him. I think they are, though, because Jacksonville. Maybe I'll give him a Trevor Lawrence pop. Maybe we can find somebody that can customize it and uh, paint it and put it in uh, Clemson, uh, however they're going to do I don't um, know what they're going to do yet, but I'm pretty sure they're going to make a Trevor going Lawrence to take one for it the out NFL. Carefully. But maybe we could, I know for sure they're going to do the jerseys, so maybe we could find someone to do the jerseys and the pants and then uh, that customizes Pops to do it in Clemson Hi. colors. Jake, no. come up here. Yeah, Jake. <laughs> See what happens when you uh, your cameraman turns 13. <laughs> I should say camera boy. Just a little boy. Just a teenage boy now. I wish he was clocked, honestly. That would be so much cooler, but it, yeah, I love it still. Uh, as far as I know, there's only one college mascot that's blocked. Who? Uh, it's the Washington Husky. Oh. Because that was uh, Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. And of course, Emerald City Comic Con, that is basically Seattle, because I believe it's known as the Emerald City, which is in Washington. So I can understand why they would block that pop for their uh, ECCC event. Which is coming up. Which... I still think the bots are going to win. People are trying to tell me, no, you know, you had to read this email and blah, blah, blah. And that's a lot of work. Guys, but the email also said um, you also had to be got on to the Funko Club by a certain date, which New York Comic Con said the same thing. If you belong to the Funko Club before a certain date, you could be in the, uh, be eligible for the New York uh, Comic Con lottery. So you're trying to tell me these bots are not eligible when they're for eligible for the New York Comic Con that because you, you had to be part of the uh, Funko Club. We'll see um, when a lot of people post on Instagram and it shows up all over Facebook. Uh, look how many entries I got in. Seventeen. But some people are saying, but you had to uh, actually hit the Enter Now button before the date when they draw the uh, numbers. As far as I, I don't know, I have to read again because my, my wife is eligible I again or just uh, the. In the day I got the email, so well, we'll see what happens. And um, you know, the box they check the emails and stuff too, so he says it didn't enter, so that's why they're called bots, not people. I don't know, people no, control the bots though, the but you can control a lot of bots from one place, so yeah. Well, if you had to be part of the Funko Club, which was the day before, uh, before they sent the email, which is easy to do because you had to be part of the Funko Club. To get into the New York So you're telling Comic me Con bots lottery. can just go to the Funko website. No, and people a, set uh, up a lot of fake accounts, but you use bots to sign up on our different emails for the Funko Club. They can't tell someone. if they're bots or not, but it's uh, pretty suspicious when you know it's the same name, but Funko still hasn't caught on. They're trying to say bots. We're not part of it, and the honest people use their account, uh, paid their uh, sisters to buy stuff, or cousins, or friends that don't necessarily like Funko, uh, you know, to buy stuff for them on the uh, New York Comic Con because they talked to their friends and stuffed into, you know, um, entering or joining the Funko Club, which is fine. There's nothing, against, nothing wrong against that because that just ensures you, if they don't collect Funko, that maybe you might be able to get something, and you know, you're using your money to pay that person back, especially if you can't be at their home right now to get it. So I don't mind if you do it that way. Um, like I said, I have three email, three email addresses. Am I going to go sign up uh, for join the Funko Club on those three email addresses? One of them, uh, yes, because that's my primary email. The other two, no. The other one is this one, because uh, one, I have a Google account to, uh, first of all, for my Samsung phone. So that's the only reason why I got a Google account. So I have a Yahoo and a Google. And that helps because I don't have to sign up for a Google account to make this channel. And then I have another Yahoo account because I'm just getting too much junk mail on my first Yahoo account. 
that I haven't checked in a while that I need to go back over there and check and start deleting old messages that I could probably just uh, sign up with that one. But like I said, I don't check that account. I don't even check my uh, Gmail. I, don't, I probably have over a thousand uh, mails. Uh, mails on my Gmail. So that's it for uh, talking about ECCC. E C C C sounds like I've changed too many C's. And that is now drawing for that is six days away. Woo! Yeah. Right, yeah, the twenty fourth. March. Okay, so six days. Oh no, not March. Please give me another Walmart. Okay. Walmart. 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 So uh, that's it for uh, this video, guys. So if you're new here, you know, give it a thumbs up, Walmart. subscribe, and. Psh. Tell someone to talk about this stupid what? Funko channel. I can't remember. Oh, you want it? Oh, Since yeah. Since I can't remember, uh, yeah, this is the end. Uh, and also hit that notification bell. Ding! Go over, select all. That way, YouTube will let you know when I drop a new video. And I'll see you guys hopefully Sunday. I never come on here on Sunday. Those are posting by day Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So I might see you Sunday, might not. Well, we'll talk about something on Sunday. Maybe. There's racing. That's why I didn't do it last Sunday. So this is beforehand. Because I know I said keep saying Sunday. The only reason why I didn't do it last Sunday was the Daytona 500. I was going to come on after the 500, but lots of rain delays. And um, I really don't care about road course racing, so I might see you Sunday. So Sunday might be a good bet. We'll talk about something. I don't know what yet. Subscribe or I will come to your house and eat your cookie. No, no, no. Subscribe or the giant peak fuzzy... Peep bunny rabbits, we're coming to you! Alright guys, see you Sunday.